Alassane, you have helped us realize the good that humanity can achieve when joining forces on the basis of integrity, mutual respect and friendship. Now you will leave us once again. This time to pursue the fourth track of your career. Au terme de 14 ans de service, Alassane Ouattara fait ses adieux à ses amis et collègues du Front Monétaire International. Alassane Ouattara a été recruté comme économiste au département Afrique du FMI à 26 ans. Cinq ans après, il quitte le FMI, appelé à d'autres fonctions. Il est d'abord nommé chargé de mission au bureau de la Banque Centrale des États de l'Afrique de l'Ouest à Paris. Après quelques années, il est promu vice-gouverneur de la BCEAO. Au bout de dix années de service à la BCEAO, Alassane Ouattara revient au FMI en 1984 au poste de directeur du département Afrique. Son deuxième séjour au FMI dure trois ans. À partir de 1987, il exerce parallèlement les fonctions de conseiller du directeur général. En 1988, Alassane Ouattara quitte à nouveau le FMI pour devenir gouverneur de la BCEAO à Dakar. Le directeur général du FMI, M. Michel Candessu, décrit l'un des temps forts du mandat d'Alassane Ouattara à la Banque centrale. During his time at the BCEAO, he played a major role in resolving a serious banking crisis and was very instrumental in the creation of the effective regional banking sector commission, still one of the only regional banking commissions in the world. Alassane Ouattara a également été l'un des premiers à prendre conscience de la nécessité de réaligner la parité du franc CFA. La dévaluation du franc CFA a été bénéfique à l'ensemble des pays de la zone franc. En jugé par le coup de frein très net donné à l'inflation, la contraction des déficits budgétaires et des transactions courantes, ainsi que la forte reprise de la croissance dans ces pays. Son parcours et les réalisations qu'il a à son actif en tant que gouverneur de la BCEAO le préparaient à son poste suivant, celui de Premier ministre de la Côte d'Ivoire. Mr. Ouattara's government contributed to shape the chain of events which led to the devaluation of the CFA friend in January 94. The structural reforms introduced in many countries of the West African Economic and Monetary Union, along with the devaluation, opened new opportunities in the global economy for all our countries and contributed to outstanding economic performances for many of them. Through his stewardship of the African Department here in the fund, through his stewardship of the Central Bank of uh, West African States, through his stewardship of the government of Côte d'Ivoire, he has truly made Africa and West Africa in particular enter in the world economy, become competitive. And through his tireless intellectual and political work to change the currency arrangements in West Africa, I see him very much as the father of the second Ivorian economic miracle. Après avoir exercé les fonctions de premier ministre de la Côte d'Ivoire pendant trois ans, Alassane Ouattara revient au FMI. En 1994, il est nommé directeur général adjoint. En qualité de directeur général adjoint, Alassane Ouattara déploie ses talents d'économiste et de gestionnaire. En tant qu'économiste, nous lui devons plusieurs contributions. La plus remarquable étant la FACER, facilité d'ajustement structurel renforcé. La clairvoyance de la San Ouattara a été à la base de la conception de la FACER. Mise en place à titre temporaire au milieu des années 80, la FACER est aujourd'hui l'un des principaux mécanismes par lesquels le FMI vient en aide à ses pays membres les plus démunis. Always attentive to the plight of developing countries and looking for the ways in which by helping to integrate them better in the global economy we could improve their living standards and the global prosperity he believed that it was necessary for the international community to offer the poorest countries a kind of a new deal if they agreed to accelerate and strengthen their reform process
then a substantial amount of concessional resources should be made available to support these efforts. And so the ISAF was born and we must pledge that it will continue to reflect its original ambitions and hopes. Uh, I believe that uh, this facility has been helpful first to reassure the poor countries that they have a place in the institution and uh, by doing so uh, it uh, is uh, evident by the statistics that the countries which have implemented policies in the framework of ISAF programs have shown better results not only on growth but on inflation and on social indicators. The countries uh, have to be encouraged to uh, give more emphasis to the social programs and to be more specific on the implementation of social policies, especially the monitoring of social policies, to know how many classes have been built, how many dispensaries have been built, how many teachers are going to, 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 to teach and so forth and so on. I am hopeful that uh, we may more efficiently and effectively address the, the economic problems. En tant que membre de la direction du FMI, Monsieur Ouattara était responsable du budget et des questions d'administration du personnel. Son action a été saluée par les instances dirigeantes comme par le personnel du FMI pour l'exigence de qualité et le sens du dialogue dont il ne s'est jamais départi. Alassane, Mr. Ouattara, I, I've enjoyed working with you and for you in every respect. I think more than anything else, I would say how wonderful it is to work for someone you find a really good manager. Someone who is clear in his thinking, clear in his instructions, clear in his responses, clear in his decisions. It is a joy. Alassane obviously has made lasting contributions to the world of international finance, to development, contributions to the development of Africa itself, and in fact played a great role, particularly satisfying to me as head of this organization, in moving the diversity program in the IMF. I wanted to say how, to what an extent Mr. Watara symbolizes the reasons why we have so much hope uh, and so much faith uh, in Africa. He combines so many qualities, technical excellence, courage, uh, humanity, uh, partnership, humor, just to mention a few. He was a sound economist and technocrat, an astute politician, a consensus builder, an excellent manager, a very effective leader, and a powerful advocate of fund policies. However, in each of these roles, Mr. Watara remained a true African, as someone described him. That is, he remained with a deep concern for Africa and its people. Les fonctions qu'exerçait M. Ouattara au FMI lui imposaient de multiples obligations. Mais son emploi du temps chargé ne l'a pas empêché d'être un membre actif de l'Amicale des Africains. This coveted trophy is presented to Mr. Alassane Dramani Ouattara in recognition of your outstanding contributions to the African community in the Bretton Woods institutions and the enhanced prosperity of the peoples of our great continent, Africa. Mission accomplie, pourrait-on dire, pour Alassane Ouattara. Après avoir quitté l'Afrique dans sa jeunesse pour mener la brillante carrière qui a été la sienne, il rentre en Côte d'Ivoire, imprégné de la sagesse et de l'expérience nécessaire pour se mettre à nouveau au service du peuple ivoirien. I have come to the conclusion that uh, true and lasting change can only be driven from within and uh, not so much from outside. Uh, the past 40 years have certainly led to some material progress in uh, many African countries, but uh, more needs to be done and more should be done by Africans themselves. I feel now that I need to give back a little to my country, my continent and my, uh, and my people.
Au terme de ces remarquables années de service au FMI, le conseil d'administration a adopté une résolution en hommage à M. Ouattara. And where as, as the Watara has been valued as friend and counselor by executive directors and staff members alike. Now, therefore, it is resolved that the members of the executive board express unanimously to Mr. Watara their tribute to his committed service to the fund, their appreciation for his outstanding achievements during his period of service, their hope that they may continue to count on his friendship and their best wishes for satisfaction and fulfillment in his future activities. He's been able to bridge so many gulfs between Anglophone and Francophone to make regional integration uh, something successful. He's also managed to bridge perhaps the macroeconomic and uh, development You represent the new generation of Africans that the continent badly needs. In my looking at Africa, I see a very important return, the return of hope. And together with the return of hope is the return of Alassane Ouattara to his continent. I am convinced that uh, every one of us has a duty to make a, a contribution, to make a difference. Africa needs uh, our active involvement to improve uh, the well-being of our people. It is our responsibility to fight for sustained higher quality growth, to improve transparency, accountability and good governance on the continent. Africa can offer to the world, I hope, a new system where modernity is mixed with our true African values of generosity a combination that would produce a unique way of joy of life to the world. But uh, first and foremost, as I said, uh, poverty must be eradicated as uh, it is in itself a humiliation to human uh, dignity. We need uh, to get rid of our worst plagues, ethnic conflicts, abuse of power, corruption and nepotism. So thank you again uh, to each one and to every one of you. And uh, as I said earlier, au revoir.